Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're doing something a little bit different again. More randomness. Today I'm going to do a little unboxing, review, and comparison of one of my favorite cell phone accessories. The Snap 4 Lux by Osnap. This just came out. It's just started shipping this month. Most pre-orders will be going out next month I believe. This is the new version of the Snap 3 Pro, which I've been running for quite a long time. And then this is my old phone here with just a standard pop socket. My biggest beef with the pop socket was the lack of wireless charging, because I use wireless charging everywhere. So this just does not allow for wireless charging at all. So most of the time I would go pop socketless. I've got it on there now. This is just the phone I use for controlling my drone. It's uh, it's just the case. This is a Note 20 Plus. I'm actually recording on this phone. This is my daily use phone. It's S23 Ultra. And I've got the same type of case on it. You can see where the Osnap, uh, the Snap 3 Pro was on it. Took that off to go ahead and install this. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the new one, the Snap 4 Lux. And it's a new packaging. It's got a nice, cool magnetic closure on it. And it's got all the same grip it, stand it, MagSafe. It's super thin. This one is made of aircraft grade aluminum, where the Snap 3 is just made of plastic. We'll dive in a little bit to some of the differences between the two. On the back here, you've got just some more features, grip, thin, kickstand, magsafe, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and pop this guy out of here. On the back of it, it feels really nice in the hand. Um, on the back of it, you've got your instructions. You can either wing it or do it right. Do it, oh, do it right doesn't really give you a whole lot of instructions. Basically just says make sure to center it in the phone on a non-magsafe phone. So, pretty easy, just going to peel this off and stick it on the back here. I'm going to clean this up with some isopropyl alcohol first. But let's go ahead and get into the differences and what makes the Snap 4 Lux better, in my opinion, than the Snap 3 Pro. So again, I've got my Snap 3 Pro that I was using. I just got it stuck to this uh, spent um, gift card just to keep the adhesive from getting all nasty. So the absolute number one difference you notice right off the bat is this feels more substantial being aluminum. It just it feels more substantial in the hand. It definitely weighs a little bit more. I think it weighs a little bit more than this does with the card stuck to the back of it. But one of my biggest um, other features that it really does well is to open this one, you got to kind of get up under here and pop it out. And then you can have your your uh, grip there this one rather than snapping in with plastic it's magnetically held down so you can just slide it open with one hand and then there you go another feature that this one has is when you open it up you can stick your finger through the center and just have a one finger hold or you can do the classic two finger hold it still has the double kickstands where you can stand your phone up and it can go to that side or that side and it's um it's really substantial there's there's not not a lot of uh risk of your phone just falling over to compare them to an original pop socket you can see how much thinner they are that is what sold me on these to begin with. I keep my phone in my pocket all the time and this was constantly catching on things um, along with the wireless charging not being usable on that. That's really what sold me on the first one. This is actually my second Snap 3 Pro and this is my first uh, Snap 4. So I'm really looking forward to getting this on and seeing how it does. It does have full MagSafe cap capability, so if you have a MagSafe phone, you can just slap it on and it'll auto-center itself. I'm going to be putting it on a case without MagSafe, so we're going to take the adhesive off the back and stick it 
right to the center of the case like that. And that will give us our O-snap product. Both of them do spin in the same kind of manner, so you can you can put it on your hand and then spin your phone around. Other than that, they're pretty similar. The actual, um, I don't know what you'd call it, trusses, suspension, whatever you call the actual fingers that hold it, have also been redesigned. So you can see there's more of them and they're thinner. And then when you look at this cross section, the hinge is further up to give you room to put a finger in, in between those two. Sorry, these angles are a little bit weird. But the to click that down, you'd really just put it in place and the magnetics pull it down. This one, you really got to give it a push to actually click the plastic in. So I'm going to go ahead and get this case cleaned up and we'll slap this bad boy on. I'm just using a little rub rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. We'll give it a good wipe down around where the sensor is going to, or the sensor, the, I've been working on one wheels a lot, but where the actual O-snap will go. So now that we got that nice and clean, get it good and dry. Then we'll take our Snap 4 Lux, peel the adhesive off, and there you can see all the magnets under the adhesive. That looks a lot different than let me pop this off. The original. This one looks quite substantial compared. So it'll be interesting to see if the magnets are any stronger or anything like that. Oh. That's not at all what I wanted to do. We want to get it dead center. I'm trying to look over the camera here. That looks pretty good. And then give it a nice firm press around the edges, get that adhesive down. And then what I like to do is go ahead and take the case off. This one's a little bit transparent and just make sure there's no air bubbles or any kind of issues where it actually connected. But that looks good. And now we have our O snap ready to go. So it's not a huge difference, but I think the small features they made, the one handed opening, the aluminum, the nicer looking magnets, and I actually do like the, the, whatever you call this piece of it, it feels more stiffer than the flimsy plastic on this one. I don't know if it's aluminum as well, it kind of feels and sounds like plastic, but it definitely is stiffer than the piece on the Snap 3 Pro. These guys didn't sponsor me or anything. I just really, it was a game changing product coming from the old debate of pop socket or wireless charging. Now you can have both. It's super, super thin. You can see that it really doesn't protrude much at all. And I think on the iPhones, especially if you install it on an iPhone without a case, the camera bump is actually taller than the O-Snap Lux, or the Snap 3 Pro for that matter. But I'm pretty sure they're phasing these out and these will become the new standard. I think that one-handed open feature is just awesome. There have been many times I've had to use my second hand to pop this open in a situation where I really needed to use both my hands. But like I said, this is just my old phone. I left this on here. I'll probably end up putting the Snap 3 Pro on this one instead of this pop socket because at this point I just hate pop sockets. These are a game changer. And they're fully magnetic. I don't have anything right here to show you, but you can stick this to anything metal, refrigerator, gym equipment. I often will stick it to the side of my car if I'm working on my car. Um, they're just, it's a really great product. I, I highly recommend it. That's really about 
all there is to it. It's not a whole lot different than the Snap 2. As far as thickness goes, they're really about the same. It might be a fraction of a millimeter thicker on the aluminum version. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with this stuck to the card. But that's my new Snap 4 Lux on the Note 23 Ultra, or S23 Ultra. That's pretty much the Snap 4 Lux. Brief comparison to the Snap 3 Pro and the OG Pop Socket. Just wanted to show you guys, give a quick overview. I know not a lot of people have the 4 Lux in hand yet because they just started shipping. I feel like I got really lucky by getting mine so soon. Customer service over at these guys, are they're, they're just awesome. They've really worked with me. I actually had an adhesive issue with this one, which is why I exchanged it for the Lux Pro. It, it just wasn't sticking as well as my first one. My first one I had on two different phones, used it for over a year, no problems. This one I've had for about a month. And right off the bat, the adhesion is just not enough to hold the phone. It tends to want to fall off on your face, especially if you're holding it, you know, laying in bed or something like that. So I reached out to them and they went ahead and swapped me out with the new one. So I was really excited about that. And we're going to take this for a spin, see how she does. Thank you guys for tuning in. Just a little quick video, kind of show you about one of the products I rave about and use every day. Like I said, no affiliation with them. They didn't sponsor this or anything. Just trying to promote good products that I think don't suck. Thanks for tuning in. Please like, subscribe. We'll be back with more random content.